All rise! Be seated. What do we have? Delta number 556-331. AP-7 United States versus Captain Warren Wrigley and Sergeant Brian Collin. Defendants are charged with conspiracy to commit murder. Murder in the first degree and conduct on becoming the United States Marine. Does defense wish to enter a plea? Yes, we plead not guilty. Enter a case of not guilty for the defendants. We will adjourn until 1100 hours, two weeks from now, at which the court will reconvene as a general court martial. Is the defense ready to call its first witness? Police court, the defense calls Captain Mark Rigley. Captain Mark Rigley. Do you swear that what you testify to this court today is the whole truth and nothing but the truth? I do. You may be seated. Captain Mark, state your full name and occupation for the record, please. Captain Mark Wrigley, United States Marine Corps, 64th Division. Could you narrate to the court what's happened on the 15th of March, 2009? We were seated at a table at the officers' club when... Leave fucking Wilson got me down in a club like that. Where the hell were you, Brian? Gotta get that back. Gotta get that fast. We gotta get him good. Hey, is that Sergeant Wilson? Yeah, it is. Back for rank, soldier. Mm -hmm. Wake up! The word of this gets back to the barracks, and you're a dead soldier. You got that? So, did you go back to where you tied Sergeant Wilson and shot him? No, sir. Thank you. No further questions. Captain Mark, what time did you get a call from the Veterans Division unit? Oh, it was about 0230 hours. And at what time did you get there? I'm not sure, but I think it was about 0250 hours. Sounds like simple mathematics, right? It takes about 20 minutes walk from the location your car broke down to the Veterans Division. Am I correct? Yes, I guess so, Captain. <laughs> you guess so. Captain, who signs for the ammo in your unit? I do, ma'am. Then you should be sure and not guess so. Am I right? Objection! Here? She's berating my client. Other rule. Captain Mark. Bradford 
shows that you arrived at the end of the vision at 0, 3, 10 hours. Let me repeat that. 0, 3, 10 hours. That's 40 minutes after you got a call from the Baptist Division. Am I correct here? I can't remember. You it can't was remember. late. Captain, oh, let me refresh your memory, right? After you got a call from the Baptist Division, you did not go right there. Rather, you went straight back to our social medicine or side. I guess I go to strike. Suspended strike. Captain Emmy Jones, I would suggest you show this court proof. No further question. Then the court will adjourn until 1100 hours, one week from today. Captain Mark, did you go back to the murder scene before going to the ammo division? No, I did not, ma'am. Are you sure about your answer, Captain? Objection. He already answered that. Overruled. The picture you see are the footprints of Captain Mark's boots at the murder scene, twice. So I'll ask you again, Captain, did you return back to the murder scene on your way to the ammo division? Did you go back? Yes, yes I did, but I didn't kill Sergeant Wilson. He was already dead when I got there. Order in court, please. So you lied? No, I was... And what do you mean by he was already dead? I was on my way to the ammo division when I heard gunshots. So then, why didn't you come up with this information before today, Captain? I was afraid that I would be falsely accused of murdering Sergeant Wilson. After all, we had a fight earlier that night. So, did you see anyone else at the murder scene then? No, ma'am. No further question. You may sit down. Call Sergeant Bryan to the stand. Sergeant, according to our record, you and Sergeant Wilson were in the same division before your transfer here. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Footprints from your boots show that you were also there at the murder scene twice. And lab tests from forensic reports show that blood stains found under your boots belong to the same sergeant. Objection! I'm not aware of these friends of mine. Well, Lieutenant, you are now. Overruled. Sergeant. Isn't it true that because of the hatred you had against the disease from your last division, you used a stolen gun and you shot I didn't shoot him? Sergeant Wilson. Then why is the disease blood under your boots? I didn't shoot Sergeant Wilson. Because you were weak and he was one of the finest drilling officers. You took advantage of him being tied up right there and you shot him twice. conclusive evidence. So stay strike. The juror will disregard that last statement. Thank you, Colin. Then why is the disease blood all over your boots? Sergeant Ryan, did you kill Sergeant Wilson on the 15th of March, 2009? Answer the question, Sergeant. No, I didn't shoot Sergeant Wilson. She did. She did. I only gave her the gun and she asked me to. Order in court, please. She? Who's she, Sergeant? Her name is Nancy. Nancy? The reason that started the fight that night? Yes, ma'am. Did you see Nancy shot Sergeant Wilson that night? Yes, ma'am. And why would Nancy shoot Sergeant Wilson then? She's the brother of Jack Foster. Fashion House Magazine, Nancy speaking. How may I help you? Hey. Hi, Nancy. Hey, hello, Jack. 
What's the matter? Is something wrong? It's just... It's, it's just Sergeant Wilson. I don't, I don't know why he hates me so much. What do you mean? I thought you told me he had stopped. I'm sorry I lied to you. He humiliates me. Makes me do things I'm ashamed of. I hate when he's making me do this, Nancy. Jack, do you want to come back home? Jack? No, I can't quit! Do you realize it only shows I'm weak? Then report him to his superiors. That should help. Maybe I think. Yes, ma'am. Oh my god! I swear to god I didn't kill him, Nancy. Listen! Sergeant! Sergeant Bryan! I order you to release this weapon from Nancy! It's a direct order, Sergeant Bryan! And... Um, where's the murder weapon now? We threw it in the stream, ma'am. So that's what happened. You could have stopped Nancy from pulling the trigger, but you did not. You simply did not. No further questions, Your Honor. 30 minutes recess for the jury to reach a verdict. Has the jury reached a verdict? Yes, we have our honor. The jurors find accused Captain Mark Whitley on charges of murder in the first degree not guilty. On the charges of conduct unbecoming or becoming a United States Marine, guilty. And is not dismissed from the army without arms. Sergeant Brian Pollock, on the charges of conduct unbecoming of becoming a United States Marine, guilty, and is here by dismissed from the army without arms. On the charges of murder of the first degree, guilty, and you are here by sentence, 35 years and federal prison without parole.